Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Sims 4 Laboratory Challenge! Where we mix and match all sorts of different animal genes to see what kind of curious creatures we can create. And it is that time of day again, my friends, where we're going to be strapping on our safety goggles and putting on our boots and headed out to the Laboratory Ranch, where we have once again got a zebra! One of our highest requested of all of our genetic mix and matches, ready to go and uh, meet a whole new horse that you guys have actually put onto the gallery. I am so excited. There are so many horses that we are going to have to go through and add into our laboratory to see what kind of adorable foals they create, including Hightower, the Clydesdale, which is just so, I mean, look at all of this. Oh, look at the spots. Look at the light dusting of color. Look at those feathery, oh, beautiful, like white feathers down here. We've got a beautiful black mane. And there's just something about Hightower where the more I looked into their eyes, the more I was like, yes, Yes, you. You, my friend. Not only did the random generator pick you amongst all of the many hashtag Siri horse <laughs> uh, horses upon the gallery, but you also are gorgeous, and I am so excited about the idea of potentially seeing what stripes look like on this lovely patterning. So, my friends, thank you very much to our um, our contributor, Seikan Cars, who went ahead and created Hightower here, and I'm so excited to see what our little crossbreeds are going to look like today, especially because we do have all of those lovely stripes, and I'm beginning to really fall in love with the zebra stripes. I mean, you put stripes on basically any of the foals, and suddenly they're just ridiculously adorable! Uh, and speaking of foals, I really need to work on getting some foals for our Ranch to Riches challenge, but uh, trust me, that's another conversation that has to do a lot with aliens, and I might need to do some more things with alien horses and alien pets, and we'll revisit that later. But for now, my friends, I hope you guys are ready to go ahead and help me out with seeing what Heather, the zebra, actually has in her genes ready to go and head and mix into our little Petri dishes. Uh, once again, thank you to the fantastic Kalino who has indeed made the wings. I told you guys it was coming. I told you guys that she was going to make wings. I just knew it. I, I had a feeling in, in, my, in my soul and I was right. And oh no, now I just made a winged zebra. Okay, that's really cool. Uh, we'll revisit this later. <laughs> and that's not even counting, like, the moose antlers. Oh, 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 that's really cool, too. Okay, look. We're gonna need- oh my gosh, and what about a, what about a zebra and an okapi? <gasps> Where's my okapi toppings? Okay, my okapi toppings. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Clearly, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and suggest doing a zebra and a copy, but we're gonna have to work on that later. For now, I want to welcome Heather in and once again remind you guys, the main, the amazing- oh, where are my ears? <laughs> I accidentally took off my zebra ears. The amazing uh, little ears that give us a bit of an extra... Is that the one? Yes. I wanted to make sure I didn't... That's the camel face. This is the one I'm looking for. <laughs> The amazing ears, the amazing mane, uh, amazing mane, you might say, with the beautiful stripes and the tail, all are from Kalino, who makes these amazing creations for all of us to enjoy. And you can check her out and support her over on her Patreon if you too want to be the first to jump atop some winged Pegasus, including the new wings that she just released. But with all of that said, I also wanted to let you guys know one fact, because we are here in the Pixel Biology University after all. Uh, before we begin, did you guys know there are three species of zebra? There are several subspecies that are kind of divided more into what are called clines, which are like the subspecies that share a characteristic more due to geography than specifically different genes. Uh, but this zebra, after I carefully looked over the three zebra that currently are the species that we recognize, the plains zebra, the mountain zebra, and the grevy zebra, I believe this is a plain zebra. Each of them have slightly different characteristics. And if you want to look at a zebra that just looks like somebody took an extra sketch and like shook it really hard and then just drew all over it, that would definitely be the Gravy zebra. Like take a look at their face and actually the mountain zebra. I feel like those two happen to have more complicated faces than our plains zebra. And I'll have to see if anybody has created some of them over on the gallery in a little bit here. But for now, oh, you probably had enough rambling. Let's go ahead and break out some apple slices and uh, get some fresh hay and see what we're going to do with Heather and Hightower here in our little Petri dishes. All right. 
I'm gonna pull up your guys' names in our random com- Oh! <laughs> I didn't know- Oh my gosh. Okay, look, we still need to massage out the kinks in the foals. For some reason, for some reason, that I don't know why, we do have the camel body taking over for the foals right now. Don't be alarmed. Everything's gonna be fine. And we are actually going to have a little filly and we're gonna randomize one, two, and three. <gasps> oh, you're so cute. And don't worry guys, don't worry. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> wow, hi Tower. You make such beautiful babies just right out of the gate and we haven't even looked to see what their genes are yet. Your head is huge, oh my goodness. Uh, I, is that a good thing in a full? I'm not sure. All right, and this little one is going to go ahead and this is going to be Inslee. And Inslee, I am so glad that you love the Appaloosas as well. And I think that, again, you guys have a lot of requests for things like water spirit horses, earth spirit horses, galaxy horses. Somebody fill me in on what those look like. Is it open interpretation? Is that like if you just like get a crafting group together and you're like, show me your inner galaxy horse. Here, use all the glitter you want and have glitter everywhere for the next five years uh like i i want to know siri hashtag like siri horse hashtag on the gallery that'll help me figure it out Ainsley, you are going to be an intelligent free spirit who's a touch defiant and we're going to go ahead and see what your genes are going to look like so you're actually gonna have dun, 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 dun. all right so okay you're actually going to be that color tan which is really funny to me uh and then you are going to be doo, doo, doo. Looking it over, looking it over. Sorry, this is the first time I've used these jeans, so I need to find. So you're actually going to be this brown, followed by, ooh, uh, actually black from the black and white of the zebra. That's so funny. <laughs> and then you're actually going to be black again. Oh, look at that. Not a lot of heavy changes, but we've got a little bit of coloration coming in here. And plus, we'll have to see if you end up becoming like a zebra maned little one when you grow up or not. That'll be adorable. All right, let's pull up the next mix and pull up the next random comment from your guys' comments. All right. Oh my gosh, these these foals are really cute just right out the gate. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to have a cult. We're randomizing just the once. Oh my gosh. It's a zebra. Yes. Okay, so this is going to be our little cult. Uh, again, we'll massage out the kinks in the back. <laughs> and this little one is actually going to be uh, Kai after, or excuse me. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Kai after Kai Pompon and Kai Pompon. You are truly a creature of chaos because you're saying you want to see, you really want to see a Night Fury and a Blurst Giraffe. That, that would be like probably a thing of nightmares. But I mean, I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down because that would be chaos and I can get behind chaos. All right, Kai, you're going to be a free spirit who's defiant as well, but you're going to be a little bit. Oh, wow. That's a lot of energy. <laughs> I was going to say a little bit of energetic, but you actually had a lot of energetic there. Uh, let me double check. I could have sworn that the zebra actually had a different. Oh, nope. All right. Well, you're all or nothing, huh? <laughs> okay. Well, here we go. Let me see what color you're going to be. Uh, and you're actually going to be for the Clydesdale. So you're going to look like this. Okay, that's pretty adorable. I'm not gonna lie. I I, I kind of like a chocolate zebra. That's really cute, aww. <laughs> I'll have to look carefully. Normally I try to make sure that the, uh, the genes we might inherit are a little bit more complex than this, but that's okay, Heather. That's okay. If you wanna be as regular a zebra as possible, then we'll do that, we'll do that. Uh, all right, and let's go ahead and pull up the next of your guys' comments. I love seeing your guys' curiosity, too. Like, the things that you come up with really, truly bring me so much joy. And it's just fun to begin every morning, like, thinking, oh, if I do something in the laboratory, what are people going to have picked? Because I get to see what you guys think would be really fun. And, like, for example, one, two, three. Oh, and we have another zebra! <laughs> All right, again, I, I apologize. Normally I try to make the genes a little bit more complicated so that we, all right, I'm gonna randomize once, there we go, uh, so that we can have a lot more to look at, but I guess it's gonna be all or nothing on the stripes today with Miller from Samantha Miller. For example, your creativity, Samantha, suggests snow leopard and deer, which I think would be really beautiful. And fun fact, one of our amazing patrons actually created a snow leopard horse last night 
that I'm in love with. I will have to, in fact, maybe we'll do a snow leopard horse zebra, uh, <laughs> like a mix of some type or something like that. Uh, ooh, or maybe the Okapi. Oh man, there's so many choices. Or maybe a moose, a snow leopard horse moose. What on earth are we doing here? Who even knows? Oh my goodness. All right, so Samantha, you are actually going to have, for your coloration, let me double check to make sure I got the right one. So you're actually going to have this brown right here. Aww. Okay, that's pretty cute. <laughs> this is turning out a little simpler on the jeans than I was expecting, but it's pretty cute. And who knows? Like, we have been, like, caught out by me being like, aw, darn. And then the jeans actually ending up being very complicated quite a bit. All right, there we go. In the future, whoops. Okay, I didn't, didn't mean to do that. There we go. And now we are gonna have another filly. Again, I feel really bad that all of all of our little fillies end up uh, like having back problems. But, oh, here we go. Look at you, little one. So, uh, you know, it's just a little bit of a massage. There we go. And this is actually going to be powder. And powder, you suggest doing a dragon and a donkey. Fun fact, we did actually do a uh, donkey and uh, his dragon in from Shrek, like you suggest, in the past, but not with this new system. So I actually think that would be one of the ones that would be really fun to revisit. Kind of like the fox and the hound would be fun to revisit because we didn't really do this system back then either, and we would get so many new colors. So I'm totally okay with old suggestions being new again. Actually, a lot of people have requested like the aristocrats and stuff like that too. Might need to look into that. All right, Powder, you are going to be mellow, fearful, and intelligent. And let's see what kind of fun colors we end up with you. Ooh, so you're actually going to be black for your... Oh my... Okay, see? This, this is what I get. This is what I get for going ahead and trying to be, like, sassy with it. It's actually going to be black for the next one, too. And then the last color it, over here, you're actually going to be... Let's see. Hmm. Da -dun -dun -dun. So it would be this one right here. See, that's what I get for being sassy and trying to be like, oh, maybe we won't get that many variations. Maybe it won't be that interesting. I take it all back. Look at you, Powder. <gasps> I never would have made that, even by accident. Oh, that's so pretty. Ah, why am I not doing this every single day? I need to. Somebody give me more energy. All right, all right, all right. So next up, let's go ahead and see. This is going to be a cult. We're going to randomize one. And three. All right. Ooh, okay. It just looked like his brother. So I was like waiting for the new one to pop up. All right. Again, massaging out the, the bumps in the back. And it, we have Evie after Buttercup the Evie. Welcome, welcome, Buttercup. You are going to have your little horse be a fearful, independent, energetic horse. I guess he gets himself into a little bit of trouble all on his own if he's both like fearful, but independent and energetic. Oh dear. And then you're actually going to have white. Okay. This is and actually white for the second one too. This is what I get. This is what I get. That, okay, this brown right here. And then you're going to have white for the last one. This is what I get for making assumptions. You know what they say about assumptions. Don't make them because you never know. You never know. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty! Oh wow! Oh, Buttercup, fantastic job! All right, oh, I'm so happy. All right, let's pull up, oh my gosh, Suzanne, you literally have a zebra in your avatar. That is so funny. And we're gonna randomize this filly. Two, three, four, and five. Ah, oh, we didn't end up with a zebra for you, Suzanne, but you're part zebra, and I think that that counts for something. <laughs> So you actually have a Pomeranian, or you don't have a Pomeranian, but you have a miniature bull terrier and she's so cute. That's adorable, Suzanne. Whoops, okay, that's not your name, Suzanne. I was looking away. There we go. And then you're going to be an independent, defiant free spirit. There's a lot of free spirits among this like mix. I've noticed that. And then you're gonna have white for your first color. I love that, that's really pretty. You're actually gonna have white for your second color. And then we're going to have, let's see, da, 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 this tan for this color. And then finally, you're going to be, let's, da, 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 this red for your last color. Oh my gosh. 
They're so pretty, you guys. <laughs> They're so pretty. That's what we get for assuming. Never assume. Look at how different they are. Even the ones who are just like one color under the stripes are still different. This is so exciting. Inslee, you're going to be the first one to grow up. And I'm going to roll to see, do you inherit? Oh, wow. You're very pretty. So you did not inherit the uh, zebra mane or ears. You did inherit the tail, though. So I apologize. That gorgeous tail of yours is going to be looking a little bit different now. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> and that's what you look like. So I, I apologize you can't have the wings, but look at how pretty that is, Inslee. Very nice. I think your tail is actually kind of hilarious. It makes me think that you could be related to a donkey, to be honest. And then Kai, we're gonna go ahead and grow you up and see what you inherit according to the Dice of Destiny. Ooh, and you actually, oh, there's no tail! <laughs> that's so cute. But you do actually end up inheriting the mane. So let's go ahead and have it maybe match like your base color because I think that could be quite fun um, to some degree. All right, that's actually really cool. And then you do end up inheriting the zebra tail as well. Okay, that's really cute. That's really, okay, everybody wants to have wings. <laughs> That's really cute. Look at how you've got like one little hoof that is a different color. Oh, and actually the brown is much more complex than it looked at first. And look at your little forelock. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. All right, guy, you look amazing. Miller, you're up next. And Miller, you did end up inheriting the mane. Oh wow, you've got a very stocky Clydesdale body and the tail is all yours. You can keep that glorious, glorious tail. Don't worry, I'm not messing with it. Uh, so let's give you the mane as well. And then we'll go ahead and see, can I find a nice coloration for you too? This one's actually very nice. And then let's go ahead. Everybody wants wings, it's adorable. And look at the really cool patterns on your hooves. Oh, that's so cool. Look at your tail! Wow! Okay, this is so much fun. Powder, you're up next. And Powder, beautiful wings. I know, I know. Everybody wants to have the wings. Uh, alas, you don't get wings this time, my friend. However, you do get to have a glorious zebra mane, and you actually get the zebra tail. So that actually, that actually worked out really well for you, in my opinion. Wow! <laughs> You truly look like a zebra mix. You truly do. Meanwhile, we have adorable little Evie who looks like they've been running around in the mud. And Evie, you have that stocky Clydesdale body as well. Uh, everybody wants wings. It's really adorable. Uh, and you do have the mane. I kind of want to go ahead and just leave it with the white because that's really fun. And you do have the tail as well. Okay, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. And then finally, we have Suzanne. And Suzanne, you... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Suzanne! I love when we get the ones that have the like really long forelocks because I just think they're quite adorable. And Suzanne, you ended up with the mane, but you did not actually end up with the tail. But you ended up being freaking adorable. You guys, I would have never made horses like these. And yet, look at how amazing they are. This is so much fun! All right, there we go, friends. Clearly, we need to go ahead and get clopping all over our uh, our barns and mixing and matching more jeans. So keep those curious suggestions coming down in the comment section. And you just might be chosen to be an extremely long-tailed, beautiful chocolate zebra next time. Stay curious, everyone. Bye-bye.